Hello, this is the biggest predictor as to whether or not someone will be successful. Let's take a listen. Science shows that belief in yourself is a bigger predictor of success than talent and intelligence. And I'll tell you the neuroscience behind why, because everybody should know this. Did we just hear that right? Belief is a bigger predictor in success than talent or intelligence. It's not what you're born with. It's how you operate mentally. If this is true, innately realism is not the best strategy. Reason number one is that belief alone improves performance. Studies show that when you believe you can do something, your brain activates more motor cortex and prefrontal resources, improving your performance. That is astonishing. You get more access to your brain. You get more of your faculties given to you the moment you start believing. If you're a pessimist, you have less of your faculties. You are less able. But if you believe, if you have faith, if you trust in yourself, regardless of what your utter circumstance says, you're more likely to have the potential to do exactly what you want to do because you have more of your brain working for you. More of your brain is activated. That is truly astonishing. This is the placebo effect in action. Belief is a biological advantage. And number two, belief keeps you motivated when nobody's clapping. When you believe in your vision, your brain stays fueled by intrinsic dopamine, which is the opposite of external dopamine from things like views or likes or money. That's exactly what we need to push through, having intrinsic dopamine. Dopamine that's given to us not based on external circumstance. That's nice. That can help validate the intrinsic, the internal, but having that internal is so much more important because when things get hard, when things aren't working your way, that is how you push forward. That is how you start building momentum. That is the power of belief. It gives you intrinsic motivation regardless of what the world says, helping you push through to overcome your circumstance, regardless of your circumstance. And that is what every great who started from the bottom, Manny Pacquiao sleeping in boxing gyms, ending up homeless and now ending up a superstar, people who had nothing, that's what they all have in common. They had belief. This makes your motivation resilient because you're not relying on external wins to keep you going. You stay locked in even when things get quiet. And number three, belief helps you take riskier moves. And like my brother said to me a while back when I was trying to decide what book deal I should take, no risk, no Rari. You see it in martial arts all the time. The higher the risk, the higher the reward. Playing it smart is not always the best strategy. Sometimes you have to take a risk often that's just part of the game and if you think about it in martial arts in the grand stage all of it is a huge risk and there's so much working against you another person training their heart out training for their dreams coming to collide with you in the arena it's unbelievable how much risk you have to take but without it there is no reward the higher the risk the higher the reward that is true and belief it's what helps you confidently Walk the steps needed to secure victory amongst that risky path. But the science here is that belief helps to reduce amygdala activity, which is responsible for fear and hesitation, and activates approach circuits in the brain. That's why self-belief leads to bold action, and bold action opens the doors to your dreams. The story is consistently true. You unlock your dreams by walking the path less trent, the riskier path, the one no one else wants to walk. When you venture out into the unknown, yeah, the floor might be lower, but the ceiling is so much higher. You never know what can happen. When you're trying to achieve something great, you might fall. But the truth is, with belief, your next step will be more sound. You're more likely to tread the path than make it to the other side.